Oh guys and welcome back. So, we are going to have the pleasure of watching one of the best games I have ever witnessed in a lifetime. In the AMX 1357F, the tier 7 French premium lifetime. Played by Mr. V Core V from the Arc D clan. Using the anonymizer, he has optics. Uh, what's the name of that thing that gives 5% or more? Oh, you get the idea. He's running nothing but premium ammo. Nothing but premium. Oh, let's see. Um, 195, 10. Average damage, 90. I'm sorry, I couldn't find a client with the English version, so I had to download the German version from um, Old School. Old School and DJ Gappa are the two best sites if you want to get older clients. And since I am... Um, using the uh, WAP manager, WAP replays version manager, I'm going to be able to download it after I make sure that everything works. So, so he is on Kloster. <laughs> Sorry, it's Abby, but it's in German. And he's going to get his first kill right there. Very good. So, his team is winning by 2-1, but however, they're down by 350. I have nothing. And now they're even, and even lower on HP. Great. Um, how are his teammates doing? The lineup doesn't look too shabby. Although, that leopard right there is about to die, which is on G... So I'm pointing my mouse here. G9, okay. Can you get this guy? The VK30, no. No line of shots. Any luck on this guy? No. Trying to wiggle his weight up and down. Now this thing packs eight shots. Eight shots? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight shots. Eight shots. He's new shooting nothing but premium. The FV has been spotted. Can, does he have a shot on him? Get a shot on this guy? Does he? Does he? No, he can't. He can't. Maybe if he could wiggle his way backwards, you know, lift his tank a little bit, maybe he could get a shot. But then again, I don't think he has enough gun elevation. On this thing. Nevertheless, uh, his teammates are down by 1,000 HP and a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Let's see how the rest of this battle is going to go. The AMX, the other AMX 13, which is the 75, the normal version, not the premium version, uh, is spotting for absolutely no one because <laughs> there's no one to shoot the base. Uh, now he's cowering. Okay, so now they are down. By 1.3k and by one time. Score is 2 3. Great. So, at this point, uh, his teammates are getting surrounded in the. Oh, kind of. Sur yeah, surrounded. In D1, and he decides to go and help with the base. Get some peaky shots there. Now, this is a pesky little little bugger. It could be very, very, very strong. He could do massive damage with this thing. Um, I guess the chat you can you can read help, Hilfe, Achtung auf K K9, attention to sector K9. Ugh, whatever that meaning. Seeking fire on the VK30. I'm assuming. Well, we all know that Hilfe means help. German. Okay, so his teammates are not doing very well. As you can see, they are down by 1.2k. Make that 1.1 right now. And they're losing 311. 311. They have killed three tanks, including him, and they have lost, well, they're down to four tanks. <laughs> so, so far, he's having a shitty game. So far. But, but, look what he's gonna do. Classic. Goes into the bush, spots, backs out of the bush, so that the bush is solid, and takes out the VK-30. Goku1989 got Zerstort. I think that's German. Isn't this supposed to be Devisht? German? Destroyed? I don't know. 
Someone's saying in chat, LOL team. I guess this never changes. Okay, he surprises the VK and he takes him out. And the VK is like, what the hell am I doing in this game? Uh huh. Great. The enemies know where he is. So he makes a tactical retreat, falls down the steps. I think he was still spotted by the time he did this. I guess. Yes. Oh, yeah. Obviously spotted. The AMD takes a shot. 108. Type 58 takes another shot. A quick fix there, buddy. Good reflexes. Great. Now, he's alone. Guys, guys. He's alone. Okay? And the reason why one of the enemies... Uh, the reason why the, the score went up is because one of the em enemies overturned his tank. This is what this means about the Polak tank. I know a little bit of German. I don't speak it fluently, but a, a little bit. Just a little bit. Some words and phrases. If you've ever played Call of Duty or uh, Medal of Honor, you know that Achtung, you automatically know that Achtung means uh, attention. There goes the M10 RBFM. Okay, now he's been surrounded, been shelled left, right, and center by artilleries. Both artilleries are alive. The FV and the AMX 13 F3. He's gonna try to ram himself on him, but he doesn't make it. This, this thing shoots very fast, by the way. Cracked and dead. Wow. Two kills with one clip, ladies and gentlemen. This guy. You know. In these situations, he's one. Ver he was one versus eleven, and then it became one versus ten when that Paulak tank overturned himself, or one versus nine. Ever? He kept his cool. Kept moving around, especially when you get spotted, you have to start moving. Nice shot, buddy. Very nice shots. That AMD has done most of the damage so far. If you pay attention, and the Type, 50 type 58 did some damage to him. Artillery. Nothing so far. Speak of artillery. Ouch. Very good shot by the FV-304. Because this thing has to has to hit precisely. It has almost zero burst radius. Like maybe like 1.9 meters. Which is like nothing. The same as the leaf blower. And other artilleries of that caliber. And damn. That was, that was a good shot. And he's down, down to fartable. Someone is capping the base. Either the Semovente... Oh, excuse me. Oh, the Stuk. Sorry, I was looking at the at the map the opposite way around. Okay, this guy knows that he's spotted, but there's nothing he can do. He's dead. I mean, I would have fired either this bush. Let me pause and show you for a second. I would have line fired either this bush or this bush if I were in his place and I knew that I was spotted. Okay, let's continue. The enemy team probably know that he's somewhere here since they know that someone was capping and the person who was capping just died. So logic says that he would be somewhere here on this balcony. But the problem with light tanks is that they could be anywhere. Once they are unspotted, forget it. Now, unless some of the some of the enemy team are using that illegal mod which tells them the breakable items on the map, they have no way of telling where he is. Absolutely no way. Let's see, what is he going to do now? He still has to contend with the Type 58, the two artilleries, and the Semovente, the, the Tier 5 Italian tank destroyer. Hmm. Very good strategy. Changing position in a place where you could defend the camp in case someone else comes, comes by. But you also have to check your corners because you're by yourself. You have no teammates. Remember, don't, don't flip yourself. Oh, God, man. My lack of the Holy shit! Okay. There goes the FD304. Oh, my God. This guy is going to give me a heart attack. Holy crap. Damn. Here comes the artillery. God, that guy missed. He knows. This guy knows what he's doing. He knew that since he since he doesn't know where the last known position of the artillery is, he could be anywhere, so he has to keep moving. It's his best chance. It was his best chance to survive an artillery shot. One? Oh, come on. Armor not hit. And spotted. 
You know why? Huh? Because when he took the shot there, there was a minor opening. And the, where the hell is the artillery shooting? <laughs> there's, you see this opening here? Uh, sorry, I wasn't able to show it to you. Anyway, there's an opening between um, between the bushes here. And when he took the shot, it was in that minor opening right there to the right. And that's why he got spotted. And he was well within the white circle of the Type 58. So, he kind of knows where the artillery is. The artillery should be somewhere around here or here in the base. But... He has no idea of knowing where the Semovente is. He knows where the last position is, but um, that Semovente could be anywhere right now. It could be trying to sneak up from behind him. It could be doing whatever. I've seen the results of this battle, and this battle was just, just amazing. Amazing. I'm not, not, not going to spoil it for you guys, but the results are just fantastic. Well, one spoiler is that um, he does win. But let me show you something. There is the power tank that overturned his vehicle and no one helped him. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's see. What is he going to do? Oh. And there is another enemy teammate who flipped on his side. Nice. Cool. Okay. So, is he gonna go for the artillery? Is he... let's see... OH SHIT! There's a Semifente at full health! And he shoots and he... Uh, he's about to ram him! Come on! Track him! Track him! Track him! Track him! Track him! Track him! Yes! That's the way to do it. Now move, 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 move! Okay, Top 58 is like, okay, I'll... Uh, the artillery could hit you there! He could hit you! If he's here, he could hit you! Probably realize that. Okay, let's, let's move. Oh, ay 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 ay. He's typing shit. Why are you typing shit? You got you you got this, buddy. You got this. You got this. Okay, let's see. Good thing is that he is so fast that he could make it in less than a minute from across the map, from one side to the other. But will he be able to spot the Type 58? If he's behind the rock, he's not going to spot him. Yeah, Type 58 is probably here, behind the rock. So he has to go and dig him out. Now, personally, what I would do, I would go around, because now the Type 58 has his gun trained, let me show you, looking this way. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to do. Ah, oh, man, I love this guy. I'm not even through the middle, too risky. Because he could be... Ah, uh, you broke the fence. If that guy is using the... Illegal mod, he knows that you broke, you just broke that fence. It's very vital in the end game that you do not break anything so that even cheaters wouldn't know which side you're coming from. Yeah, would you look at that? See? See? See what he was doing? He had his gun trained on the other side, standing behind the destroyed Stug. Okay. Do see ya. Hasta la vista, baby. What the fuck? The artillery knew that he would appear there. You know what that means. Well, we have no proof, but it means that the artillery probably either saw the fence being destroyed from his above camera, or he was using the illegal mod just called, I think, Destructible, something like that. I like how he's pinging the map for himself. That's uh, pretty awesome. Man, stop destroying stuff. Either a regular artillery or a cheating artillery, or another person who's spectating the artillery, who's a cheater, would be able to tell him which side you're coming from. Don't do that. Oh, there he is. Is he spotted? No, he's... No, yes, he's spotted. What is the artillery doing? Too late, buddy. Too late. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, I also took a random shot. Where the hell did that guy shoot? <laughs> nice. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Victory. All enemy vehicles destroyed. This means destroyed. Okay, let's go have a look at the post-game stats. And you know what I do, always. So, a victory for our friend Vicor V from the Arc D clan. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Ace Tanker. 
let's see, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, uh, Hand of God, Duelist for destroying at least two vehicles that cause damage to your vehicle in battle, Fire for Effect, Pascucci's Medal for destroying two SPGs in, in one battle, Kolobanov's what we all want, we all want this medal, Pool's Medal for destroying at least ten or more vehicles, Defender for uh, resetting the base of at least 70 points, High Caliber for doing 3,220 damage, Top and Top Gun, total 12 kills, look at this list, look at this list, look at this beauty, wow, 1 versus 11, well, one heavy tank over flipped himself, okay, um, I don't think it would have done much of a, much of a difference, let's see, 1,746 base XP, and he lost almost 69,000, well, 69.6, 68.6, excuse me, thousand credits. Amazing game, buddy. Amazing. 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 Um, and like I said before, I was able to play this replay from a downloaded German version. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome.